What's up my friends, Dr. Ricky back here with another video. Hey, I'm gonna intro this series I'm gonna do. It's a Japanese anime series called Baki and Baki is a grappler. So I, I found this clip of this, this doctor who's gonna come in to try to revive someone and it's pretty interesting. So let's jump in and take a look. Please stay out of the way. Oh, sorry. Look out, doctor coming through. Hello, doctor. The patient is ready now. EKG reading? Nothing. Blood pressure? That's called flatline. So he's... Is there anything you can do? We don't know how long he's been flatlined or dead. dead Mr. Tokugawa. You ready? Clear. Response? No response. All right, so what he's doing there is advanced cardiac life support protocol is if someone comes in what we call triple zero, like they're not breathing, their heart's not beating, they're basically, they're dead, but it just happened, we're gonna try to restart their heart with the defibrillator. So what we're trying to do is to depolarize the heart so all the electrical activity gets reset to hopefully allow it to all to start to beat and sink. So he shocked him a couple times and he got a little blip when he shocked him, but shortly after that, the heart should restart, but we haven't seen that yet. Response. I'm sorry. No response. You're a good man, Doctor. No response. Come on. Respond, Doctor. Now what? Respond. Respond. He's Respond. punching him in the chest. I'm sorry to intrude. Can't you see what's happening, man? I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt, but it's almost time for his match. There is no response. Again, he's trying to restart his heart. This is called a precordial thump. When you, you hit the chest in the middle of the sternum to try to, again, depolarize the heart to get it to start. Now, you wouldn't do this if you had a defibrillator like he has, but if you're out in the field and you didn't have something like that, you could do what's called a precordial thump where you, you hit the center of the sternum bone to try and depolarize the heart and get it to start, and that's what he's trying, clearly unsuccessfully. Nothing. Flatline. Baki? Leave him alone. Some time. About 60 seconds in here with no oxygen, your brain is starting to get brain damage. And by 90 seconds, it's not compatible with life. I'm sorry. No, not Dopo. Sensei. The doc is calling it. He's saying, we've been working at this for a long time, and there's just no signs of life anymore. It's been long enough that he's got brain damage, and if we were able to revive this, this patient, that they probably would have permanent brain damage and not be compatible with life. So let's see what's gonna happen next. I think it's gonna get a little interesting. I'm sorry to impose, but I heard Inter -room there was a need of medical attention. Dr. Ricky. <laughs> I wish. Everything. If you aren't opposed to it, I'd like to take a look at the patient. Why not? What the hell do you think you're doing, man? Get out of here! Stop it. Yeah, why should I? I am Korea Kosho. I'm a medical doctor. May I? Sure. Fabio showed Why up to not? be the doctor. If you want something miraculous to happen, you first have to believe that it's possible. I suppose you couldn't hurt Agreed. him any more than he already is. Go right ahead. What a body. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing he comments on is, what a body. <laughs> the guy is dying. <laughs> and your comment is, what a body. <laughs> Crazy. For years, medicine has been chained to convention. And you know what that is? Junk. Their knowledge of anatomy is restricted by fear. Mm. I'm not scared of anatomy. Some needles? Yes, um, sir? You're a sweetheart. Life and death are examples of the world's common rules. Why is he putting it's needles in the chest? It's hard to repair or destroy human bodies if you just know how to break these rules. Not I only do I know how to break them, I practically invented them. Can we do an acupuncture to bring this that guy back to life? Anesthesia. Oh, for anesthesia. So he doesn't have any pain. Now what? <laughs> I'm gonna stick my hand inside of your chest. I can penetrate the heart between the muscles, and by not using a scalpel, I won't have to destroy such a beautiful man's body. All right, I have to pause for a second here. So. <laughs> 
He's doing intracardiac massage, which we do do, but usually during open heart surgery. So sometimes if you massage the heart, you can stimulate it to start beating again. And sometimes during like cardiac bypass grafting or open heart surgery, other types of open heart surgery like transplants, sometimes they won't shock them with a the paddle if you just massage the heart or after shocking it, if it starts slowly, you can massage just to kind of get things going again. So apparently that's what he's doing to try to save this guy's life. Let's see if it works. Come on, doc. Let's get it, Fabio. There we go, there's a QRS. Up, oh, his biceps expanding, another QRS, and another one. There's a response. He saved him. He should be able to breathe into And no hole in the chest. If you'll get him to the hospital right away, he'll be fine. Did you catch what he just said? He said, if you get him to the hospital in time, he'll be fine. This is in the arena where they're wrestling and there are OR lights and an IV bag hanging and doctors and scrubs and it kind of looks like a hospital to me. I don't, so that's, I don't, I don't, it's weird. Okay, let's go. Let's end this. Let's get him ready. Bye bye. Thanks, Fabio. All right, my friends, that's it. Another video in the books. Listen, I like to react to whatever, medical, non-medical, but we could do TikToks, we could do medical shows. If there's anything you wanna see me react to medically, just let me know. It does not have to be plastic surgery. So that was kind of fun just to talk about some basic medical things that I've kind of encountered throughout my trauma and critical care, critical care training. But again, that was a fun video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel, share it with any of your friends, leave some comments if you're interested, but for now, Dr. Ricky with another video, I'm out.